Hi YouTubers, it's Matt from Hover Dog here. Did a quick simple video, it's a follow up to my last one where I did the secondary um, regulator for CO2. So what we're doing today is, by the way, sorry for the camera angle, it's really hard to film where I am. So remember this, yeah we're just going to fit this, that's all. Uh, so yep, that's what I'm going to use today. Second year regulator, uh, Kegland one, I've got my old pipe cutter, a um, couple of screws, you know, dead easy just to screw this on, even though it's got three screw holes, not quite sure why. Um, yeah, if you know what that bottom one is, tell me, because it's a lot thinner. don't know what that's for, but yeah, screw it on I guess, but anyway, whatever. Right, and of course, um, because these are 5 sixteenths, and virtually everything else in brewing is 3 eighths, well, my CO2 is. I've got a 3 eighths to 5 sixteenths John Guest adapter. And because I'll be going from literally CO2, come on, let's work it out CO2, 3 eighths into there, comes out 5 sixteenths, goes into here as a 5 sixteenths, comes out 5 sixteenths, get any idea, into here, and this then goes on to my ball lock fitting. So I'm just going to fit this and show you what I've done so it's not hard is it hey come on boring video but yeah so today simple tools gonna to just use a screwdriver I've got a couple of self um, tapping screws um, and this just to tweak up that uh, that fitting onto my ball locks now these you can do them hand tight uh, I like to just give them a, a fraction of a turn uh, just to make sure they're on uh, do not tighten these up too tight you will end up cracking them uh, and also in the shed today it's two degrees centigrade so yes it's cold I'm also joined by uh, the brew cat Boris who's in a box it's a cat he likes boxes so I'll crack on with this so the first issue we've got is our co2 comes into our two outlet manifold um, it will then go into a regulator, so remember this little baby up here? So it comes in at the top and then goes out. Okay, fantastic, yep. You get the idea. So our gas line goes round the back. And we're going to fit this somewhere over here. Um, just on the side where there should be no pipes. It's going to be out the way. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge just to see the pipe actually, uh, the, the meter. Uh, actually, I thought of that. But the other issue is we've got an arrow. This is the arrow the gas should go, so it has to go that way. So if I fit it on this side, of course I've got to get it's quite wobbly actually. Hmm, that bottom doesn't seem to be flush, but never mind, whatever. I've got to get the beer, uh, the gas line, sorry, up into here, so it's going to be like awkward. So I might fit it that way, or I might fit it that way. I've got to think about it and it's too cold to think. What I've done, I've had a different plan. So what I've fitted, uh, well where I've fitted it, is underneath the existing secondary one, I've put it above the manifold between the two. The reason being, the gauge is um, on this side and I've put the turn it the other way, it'd be hard to read the gauge. Plus on this side, they're both together. Now we are quite close on the output to the door edge so um, I've managed to heat up that pipe it doesn't look very good actually oh well it must have moved slightly so I've been trying to make it so it's 90 degrees out of here otherwise you can get leaks and that John Guest fit in and I put an electrical cable P clip I've got some other P clips that are better than that that are actually a real P with a little plastic tag on the side can't find him in the bloody garage somewhere right so Fitted that, I've just put that on as well. Um, got to sort the input. Uh, what I've done for that, I've just pulled off the uh, the Joe Guest, uh, not the John Guest, the um, the ball fitting, ball lock. This one. Um, I'm going to chop that clean. I'm going to keep the length of it, I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to go straight in. Oh, I've got an adapter, adapter then. Um, a bit of 5 sixteenths into here and then the rest of the 5 sixteenths got loads of it here um, I'm just going to wrap around the back and up and then we'll refit this ball lock with the adapter right, I'll do that now 
Oh, by the way, I thought of this. What I could have done is, I could have actually taken that off there and used 5 16 all the way. So I won't need the adapter, but they are 3 8 barbs. 5 16 might be a bit of a fit to get on. Uh, they are, I had to heat those up and they are really tight. I don't really want to mess with those too much. So moving on, um, it's really short, but there's a, let's take the, let's take that out. Yeah, you'll be able to see now. So really short, 5 sixteenths, it literally is an inch and a half um, into the 5 sixteenths, the 3 eighths, the original pipe with the tape on it. Put that back in probably. I lose it, I'll lose a spring. Um, so that's the input from the manifold. And the output just goes down the back, big loop, and it appears here. So let's just fit this ball lock we've just uh, fitted the new fitty onto. Lots of fit in there, isn't there? And yeah, we're in. Yep, in. And on. Okay. We're done. So I've not leak tested it. I can't hear anything, I can't see anything. Uh, yep, I can spray it with Star Sun. Star Sun's pretty good leak detector. So if there's a leak, it will bubble. You can get proper leak, uh, leak stuff, or you can use uh, wash up liquid. No, uh, just dish soap, as you want to call it, but it's washing up liquid for us, or the equivalent. Um, and put a bit of water on it. Well, I can't see it bubbling. Can't see it bubbling, so that looks a good one. There we are, quick cable tie. Uh, I've just moved it out of the way. Um, nice little 90 degree bend on the pipe. So all good. Secondary regulator fitted and working. So I better sign off here. This is Mark from Hoverdog Brewery signing off. And as always, stay thirsty.